Hey guys, Adam here from Lawn Hub and welcome back. Bit different place today, another new location. We're out in Two Wells in South Australia. Um, we're gonna work on this beautiful 20 year old Santa Ana lawn. Um, we've got a nice weekend here in South Australia, nice 30 degrees. Um, so today we are going to give it a light scarifier to remove some of the seed head. Um, and then we're gonna give it a mow and then a fertilizer at the end uh, with some Lawn Hub products. So stay tuned, cheers. So today we're going to be using the Ryobi Scarifier as our tool. Uh, we're just going to nicely just nick into the top of the profile just to remove that seed head. Um, seed head's common, especially when we're having fluctuating weather, which we've been getting here in South Australia. We've been having really hot days and really cold days, a bit of rain, dryness. So it's just the plant naturally showing some signs of stress. You can combat that with a bit of PGR. Uh, it will suppress some of the seed head, um, but unfortunately most of the time you're just going to have to, uh, yeah, just deal with it either by regular mowing or hoping today that this is going to knock a fair bit of it out. Um, another thing I just quickly want to touch on with the weather, uh, people's renovations aren't uh, recovering as quickly as they were either last year or the year before. That's all got to do with the weather. Um, just stick in there guys, it will eventually come back with some nice weather. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, you can keep trying to push it with, um, you know, with some nitrogen, but um, you know, you could also save it for when it's nice and um, nice and neat again and when you, how you like it. So uh, yeah, we'll fire this up and we'll see how we go. Alrighty guys, in typical Adam fashion, uh, it's gone flat. Uh, we didn't charge them for very long, so that's okay. Uh, it, we got through half the lawn, so we're quickly just gonna go over and look at half the lawn and then clean it up with the mower, just so we can give a bit of like a comparison. Um, I didn't really wanna do a review this this video because I've only used it a few times, but it's actually done a pretty good job. So I'll flick the camera around. So as you can see, this side hasn't been done. This side has been done and it's pulled up quite a bit of material and a quite a bit of seed head as well. I'll just zoom in here. So, and once you pull that away, you can you can really not tell that we've run the scarifier through there lightly. So some, there's a stalky bit that it's pulled out. So yeah, so we'll get Brad to run around with the Scotty and he'll clean this half up. And yeah, we'll give it a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison if we can. Alright guys, so Brad just cleaned up the scarifyings. I uh, just want to make note as well, Brad did mow this lawn this morning, so all these clippings now have come from that light scarifite, and from half the lawn he's filled up half a catcher. So um, a lot of, a lot of uh, thatch in there as well, as well as some seed head. Um, there is still some seed head on this side of the lawn, um, unfortunately we just gotta wait for the batches to charge uh, and then we'll go in the opposite direction uh, and then yeah we'll give another another look at the lawn um, but so far that scarifier has done a pretty good job and it's pulled out a lot of material as well Brad just mentioned to me before that he wasn't able to scarify this lawn as well as he wanted to this renovation season uh, due to the Ryobi scarifier actually being broken so that's a new one um, but so far so good um, for now, yeah, the magic of, uh, of artwork and, and film work from Duffy, we'll click our fingers and we'll be back to scarifying, but for us it's going to be probably about half an hour, 40 minutes. So 
Brad's just finished cleaning it up with the rotary um, and we just we just ran out of battery life on the Scarify. That's not the battery's fault, that's our fault. We didn't charge them. They've been on charge for 20 minutes at a time just so we can get some content. Um, it's done a really good job. Um, we got another full catcher, which is over there. Um, and it's pulled out a lot of dead material along with a, a bit of seed head. Um, but all in all, very impressed with that Ryobi Scarifier. Um, look, if you have access to one or you, you want to get one, I suggest you know you, you, you should. Um, good cultural practices. You can use it obviously at the start of reno season and you can use it throughout the year. As you can see today, we haven't really made an indent on the way the lawn looks. So you don't have to go real aggressive. You can just nip into the canopy to remove some thatch. And yeah, like I said, that's good turf cultural practices. Um, yeah, so a really good machine. Um, hopefully this one lasts longer than the other one. Um, so we'll get some fertilizer out now and we'll water it in and we'll wrap this video up. Alrighty guys, so we've just gone over the lawn with the Scotty. See those fat stripes in the background. Um, Brad's got a Scott spreader here, so he's gonna apply it using that. Uh, we're gonna be applying Plan B today. Um, and just, I quickly wanna to touch on Mini Pill. Uh, Plan B is Mini Pill's uh, temporary replacement. Um, yeah, the Mini Pill at the moment is still currently unavailable, still waiting for the raw materials to come in. And then once that's ready, um, yeah, they'll be back on the shelves. But for now, yeah, going with Plan B, we're applying that today at two kilos. Per 100 squares, uh, there's 170 squares here, so do the mass, we've just got to use just under half. Yeah, a bit more. Sorry, not just under half, got to use nearly all of it. Quick maths. Yeah, that'll do. All right guys, as Brad's applying that in the background, uh, we'll sign off the video here. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. Um, if you have any comments, pop them in the comment section below and make sure you like and subscribe for more. Cheers.